Hello and welcome back, ghouls and goblins. Thank you so much for taking the time to support the channel. I truly appreciate it. I hope you're having a magical day. My name's Hello Good Game, and I am pleased to be your host within this Magic the Gathering Arena Deck Guide video. Murders at Karloff Manor has been out for a few days, and I've tossed together what I believe to be one of the most competitive decks within the set, Rakdos Midrange. Case of the Crimson Pulse. I don't know if you've seen it yet, as well as the new Field Wipe slash Deck Removal is the Deadly Cover-Up. These new additions are the crowning jewel to what is already an incredibly competitive deck, taking me to the top 200 Mythic last season, okay? So within today's video, we're gonna break down that deck list, discuss the strategies and synergies in depth, giving you a deeper understanding of how to pilot that deck effectively and efficiently, right? How's it all work together? What's the whole picture? Uh, furthermore, demonstrating this against the best decks as well as players in game. You can't go wrong here. Uh, and then finally wrapping up with our concluding thoughts, deck review and channel news. Thanks again, all of you, you know, so much for your support. I truly appreciate it. Um, like, comment, subscribe, become a YouTube member, join the community discord if you ever want to show us your deck or maybe if you're looking for help within something. Okay. Thanks again. And, uh, you know, let's take a look at the deck. Yeah. It's a new lap record. All right. The meta breaker is, um, you know, building on one of my most successful decks last season. Rakdos Red and Black Midrange. 60 cards, standard, best of one, a 3.0 average mana value, supported by 25 land. Okay, we do have 16 creatures to our 19 non creatures, but you know, don't worry, uh, that's fine. Some of our non creatures in deck uh, help us, you know, pull some of those other creatures um, to keep that field filled up. Okay. Uh, first and foremost, it's a turn one, Voldaren Epicure. Then we've got a turn two, Blood Tithe Harvester, uh, to start most matches, right? We also have um, that turn one cutdown here available with a turn two uh, Virtue of Persistence, Lockthwain Scorn. Opening up the game quite easily for us. And then, you know, moving into a turn three, Liliana. Uh, we can also potentially play a Graveyard Trespasser here. If the field state is out of control, right? It's a Boros Convoke deck. We may want to look at an early field wipe um, and not just Boros Convoke, but any of the other aggro decks in meta. Just take care of it right away. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Um, you know, you can potentially generate value within the case, which we will discuss in depth a little bit more. Um, and then potentially maybe it's just single target, right? Maybe they're a mid-range deck and you can just pick something off. Um, turn four, you know, why not play shouldered? That's going to be fine. You can also, you know, double back to the rest of your cards. Turn five, if it is a scary deck, well, we've got the deadly cover up to wipe the field. And, uh, you know, if we're good to go, we've, you know, sustained our life total. We have, uh, you know, enough mana. Get that bone horde out right? Then you're going to be drawing additional cards into exile to play each turn. So, you know, that's going to be the general outline and mapping of the deck. Uh, it does get a little bit more specific than that. The Epic here will deal one damage to each opponent when it enters play and creating a blood token. The Harvester will create that blood token when it enters as well. And as a 3-2 can self-sacrifice to give one of our opponent's creatures a minus X minus X equal to the, twice the number of blood tokens that we happen to control. So that's quite nice. That can uh, work in conjunction with, of course, the cut down as it is reducing the total power and toughness of creature uh, for one mana instant speed. We've talked about this so many times throughout the you know previous months here. Um, total power and toughness five or less, right? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And in that same fashion, um, as Harvester helping cut down Virtue of Persistence as Law Coin Scorn can also, um, you know, help cut down, hit bigger targets than it typically would, right? Also giving, you know, the Scorn a little bit more reach, right? They work together quite well. Furthermore, we can bring our creatures back from the grave with the Virtue for seven mana at the beginning of our upkeep, not only from our own graveyard, but also from our opponent's graveyard, which is really quite nice, right? We get, you know, any creature we happen to want. Um, furthermore, uh, the Trespasser can control these graveyards because, you know, sometimes our opponent is uh, looking to execute a similar game plan and we need to make sure that they can't do that. Trespasser 
can grab cards out of the grave when it enters or attacks one day bound two of them night bound uh three three day four four night ward discard a card for both of them which is quite nice if it's a creature card uh exiled this way we actually deal one damage and receive one life for each creature which is great obviously it's two if the, it is night uh potentially which is quite nice lily can plus to discard a card as three starting loyalty uh minus two target player sacrifices a creature really good removal if they only have one creature excellent remover if removal if it is a ward creature an indestructible creature they do exist okay and then finally minus six separating all of their permanents into two piles they choose one pile sacrifice the other holy toledos is that ever going to gain you some field advantage we talked about the field wipes within brotherhoods and three damage to creature and planeswalkers uh all of them or we can destroy all artifacts with mana value three or less the deadly cover-up is just destroying all creatures furthermore if we collect evidence six total mana value of cards from our graveyard into exile take non-creatures so your virtue can pull your creatures okay um we actually get to exile a card from our cre our opponent's graveyard a creature and um you know basically delete uh, it out of their deck which is really really nice um if evidence was collected can we take a non-creature if evidence was collected exile uh just a card yeah so we can take a non uh creature card here as well potentially if we're wiping the field so not losing its usefulness entirely against a control deck because you know maybe they sunfall and then we've got this just chilling we can cast this take their single token which we could take other ways but now we get to take all of those sunfalls out of their deck right and that is fairly valuable considering you know we do want to play creatures we do want to bring those creatures back from the grave so hopefully they're not being exiled um and this is great so it's really nice against the aggro decks right that are looking to outpace you within their board state but also really nice against some of those other mid-range and control decks to just take some of the key cards you know you take their sunfall you take their jace what are you doing specifically take their jace actually maybe even over sunfall so it's really really good value uh if you collect evidence six of course you do get to take that uh, out of their deck out of their hand if it was in hand they'll draw you guys know this uh removal triumph you have to discard or pay three life as an additional casting cost creature or planeswalker beautiful card i love it um shouldered you all know this four five you draw gain two life they draw they lose two life the bone horde one of my favorite cards in game right now for five mana five five flying first strike at the beginning of your upkeep exile the top two cards of your library and you can play those cards this turn if it was a land um create a 3-1 dino and if it was a non-land create a treasure which is uh just doggone goofy right so we love that and uh finally i think my favorite card from this set which is just like bone horde uh, these cards are so similar um for three mana the crimson pulse when it enters the battlefield discard a card and then draw two and when you have no cards in hand it solves at the beginning of your end step and then as it is solved at the beginning of your upkeep uh discard your hand um and then draw two cards right so very very good right if you have uh no cards in hand um you know just drawing those two cards is phenomenal with that and the dracosaur uh, very, very good card advantage. We have enough removal that we should be able to control any field state and, um, you know, the baddies to get through to close out the games. We have a Murex here. Uh, we also have the Restless Vents as our creature lands. One makes a might, the other makes uh, two, three with menace. When it attacks, you can discard and draw, which is great. And then the dual lands within the cliffs, the ridge, the spring, utility lands within the defiance and the mire and some basics to get us through right um i do think 25 lands is really nice to make sure that we can curve out to five to six and it's no worries uh we got some discard in deck as well you know liliana can discard a land the crimson pulse can easily discard a land we can um just choose to ignore it if it's being exiled with like a dracosaur or something so you know i do think that the early consistency of carving into five is worth uh just having uh, an extra line around i don't think it makes too much of a difference anyway so either way 
probably my favorite deck right now. I hope you enjoy. I put a lot of work into it. And, um, you know, loving the new Field Wipe. It works really good against aggro decks. Works good against control decks. Loving this new Enchantment. Uh, it gives you a ton of uh, mid-range sustainability where we're no longer top decking. It is a non-creature, so it's not being removed like Dracosaur is prone to. It's a lot harder to remove an enchantment than it is a creature. So uh, I think that having both of them in deck is beautiful. It is working nicely, and I hope you enjoy. Cheers, like, comment, subscribe, become a YouTube member, join the community Discord, but most importantly, just have an absolute magical day. Let's roll out. Well, I hope you wanted a challenge because they're in Diamond 1, dude. That's no joke. That's actually a big reason as to why I'm running such a competitive deck today. I'm going to rank up. I've been playing with these fun decks all week, and it's like, not been good. <laughs> I mean, the decks are, they're performing, but, you know, there's a big difference between like a 70% win rate and a, a, like a 55% win rate. As far as making progress in Diamond goes, really got to string some consecutive wins together. Um, I'm going to hold this and I think it'll be good. They're tapped out so we can play first main phase. Just going to grab that Pilgrim from the grave, gain some life, deal some chip damage through that Trespasser ability. Voice of the Blarst with land behind, gaining life, going to three. Um... We're gonna kill everyone. Land out. I think we do. Let's just immediately get in there. Cause I can't let it grow, right? Just take it. And then this sucks, but whatever. I can't let it go to four. We could cycle and look for removal. It does exist. They're tapped. A Liliana. No double black. Um, Triumph we could get. That's it, though. I'm going to take it. Voice gets out of hand so quickly. Watch them immediately bring it back from the grave. Case is okay. Are they playing on top of it? Preacher is pretty good. Preacher is pretty good. And it does dodge end, so I'm glad we took that while we could. Okay. I'm going to toss a Dracosaur looking for land. Okay, we find it. What is the card we want to take out of their library? Is it Voice of the Blessed? Is it the um, Amelia? There's a lot that's good here. It could even be Delaney we take. Let's collect our evidence. One, two, three, four, five, six. Voice, Preacher, Delaney. I think the double triggers is pretty aggressive. We'll start there. Okay. Amelia, Lorraine, Alxa. Land out. Bad out, which is good, but no removal, right? That would transform, which not great. So let's, you know, get our bone hoard out. Hopefully they don't top deck removal. We do have the block, which is great. They can gain some life on Amelia. That's fine. The third path is frustrating with our virtue, but whatever. It goes to three here and then land out potentially to four. I don't know what else they have in hand. They're going to pass. Nice. Double draw. Oh, that's so good. Alrighty 
then. I'm going to pay three life. Dunk on the bat. It does return, which is fine. And then I don't think they can make a creature, so let's Liliana with a minus. Get rid of Amelia. Sacrifices must be made. Swing for five. Hopefully not a wandering emperor. Yeah. Imagine forgetting what that card's called. <laughs> Gumdrop. Okay, okay, okay. They can gain two, three life here, four life from the entry, and then I guess five, six life on turn. I think Dracosaur dies. Nice. That's pretty smooth. You, you gotta love it. Right, these both trigger an additional time. Pushing it up. Yes, I love it. They're going to return something, hey? Do I discard my shielder? That sucks. We get rid of this and just play this, hard cast it. And then full shielder next turn from the graveyard. This isn't any graveyard, is it? In your graveyard. Goodbye, Shelly. And then just straight up hard cast this. We're defending Liliana with the Dino, bro. One card in hand. This is active. They can sacrifice it to cast creatures from grave until end of turn. Oh my god. The virtue. And the card's in grave. I wasn't even thinking that through. Oh my god. I hate my life. We just lost our virtue. I was I walked right into that. I wasn't even thinking of it. That's my bad. That's my bad. That's my bad. That's my bad. Oops. Maybe they're greedy and want to cast their other stuff. Or can probably just cast it all. But whatever. Whatever. Cast your preacher instead. <laughs> <laughs> That's on me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come out and say oops here. We could have just held it in hand. That's my bad. So we're gonna find another one. We're gonna find another one. Keep Lily alive. Oh my gosh, I'm such a goofball. Totes my bad. Oh, uh, I guess just take that. Easy. Take the Preacher. It's a lot of their card advantage. The path, how many paths are they going to run, though? If we take this, it removes it from exile as well. I think that's a good play. Just because we get the one out of exile as well. That's in their hand. Ooh, we could have taken that. Shouldered can go, that's fine. Just keep uh, this lily up. I mean, this is fine. It's just a nice, easy minus. They're going to do that every turn, eh? Which is pretty annoying, and we cannot keep pace with that.
I guess we'll keep the land in hand. And a voice, okay. Well, this is bad. Another field wipe. This blood, uh, sorry, deepest betrayal is really good. Oh man, dang. Saving the day. Well, I, at least it's good. I hope they don't have removal. We're on thin ice, though. We are on thin ice. If they have removal, we're done. Oh, man, I can't believe we uh, misplayed earlier. That was a big oopsie whoopsie. Come on, give me the good stuff. No, that's the bad stuff. I can't exile this. I can't uh, channel this from exile. So it's just a land. <laughs> Hashtag sad. <laughs> Best turn. Maybe we get lucky a couple turns with the bone hoard out. Right? It does generate good value each turn. Oh no. Oh no, the life gain. Okay, it's, but it's not a life gain land. Oh, no it is. But we can stomp it. Okay. Cut down, you're actually good. For once in your play history. Bone Horde, I love you. You're the best. <sighs> okay. Lots of blood tokens is good. Look at that value. Pass turn. They have 31 line. Well, 29. Come on. Don't sell yourself short. <laughs> Do they activate the land? Nice. What? Okay. I was like, why aren't you letting me cast? Let me get in there, Dougie. Nice. Oh, that's beautiful. Give me the good stuff. Oh, that is the good stuff, isn't it? Land out. Dunkadelphia. Oh, I did that in the wrong order. www. I did that in the wrong order. Another misplay, HGG. You're a legend. I know. I know. <laughs> you want to trade? With Shelly? These are also on the table. Let's get some of that health. It makes a bat? What are you talking about? Whenever an opponent discards a land card, create a bat. And I discarded the Murex for Triumph without noticing. Okay. Oops. <laughs> Get that damage, dude. All right. They can still activate their land as well, but I don't think that's wise. Like, you're only hitting for six. Seven, eight, I guess. But I get to dunk on their land. Not even attacking with the voice. That is interesting. Oh my landfall. What? Oh, I can't do that. No, 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 no. I forgot again. Oops. No. What am I doing? Oh my gosh. 
I hate this game. <laughs> the lands. Discarding the lands has been the death of me. Okay. We should have done the fake attack first again. Oh my gosh. That's not funny. I'm not impressed. Field wipe. Well, actually, field wipe might not be great. I don't know. It's hard. That's no good. That's literal trash. Bro, no way. This match has been fantastic back and forth. Honestly. No block. Bone Horde, I need better draws out of you. Don't treat me like that. We're going to draw some nice removal off the top. There's plenty of it in deck. Ooh. Now, do I want to dunk on my own creature? I think I do. Let me fizzle this. They don't gain access to it in the future. Sucks, but whatever. Big money, no whammies. Uh, oh, wow. More bone hordes. Kill a bat. Get our virtue out. We can get more bone hordes in play. They're down to 17 from 30. 15. Making progress. We cannot take a lot of damage, though. But if they swing, we're going to get in for a... Well, no, they've got vigilance. No blocks. Okay, that's our last no block. We can just cycle bone hordes on them now, though. Right? We get a new blocker every turn. Any kill effects here? No. Just the flying blocks. All right, that should get us the win. Grind them out. Do not discard these lands. <laughs> they have three blockers. They go up to 16. They block one, two, three. We hit four, three, six, nine, ten. Not enough. I think... Still shouldered could swing though. Did I just count to 10? Oh, but they go to 16. Never mind. I was going to say shouldered would get the win then. No. Again, I don't mind the, the block. If they're going to double block it or whatever, that's fine. So down to 8. And then to... Six, and because we have double first strike, we can actually double block the voice, you know, and not lose one. And I don't know how we get the win. Bone Horde leading the charge quite clearly there. That's phenomenal. All right, opponent's going to go first here. Let's keep seven. Yeah. Should we kill it? 
Well, they are a Convoke deck. I think Kill Everything is the name of the game. Boros Convoke, Mono White Convoke, it's all brutal. Hopefully we can top deck a third land. Liliana. Fourth, a Shield Red. Pretty please. Oh, it's Boros. This deck is impossible to handle, honestly. It's ridiculous. Watch, they're going to have another Investigator. Without doubt. Oh, I'm going to try to stop shaking. i seen your comments. All right. Let's just immediately dunk on it while we can before they can save it. Slow land. Not great. Okay, they're going to take the turn off. We do get the land. Lily, your go. And just plus. Sorry, shoulders. You are a duplicate. She get out of here, bruh. Get a land. Lackluster. Hey, maybe it's the land they needed though, right? They're like, oh, I'll draw another land. Warden is a go. That's fine. One damage. No haste. Yet. Okay, two cards in hand. Oh, gleeful. No. Okay, I need a field wipe. Brotherhood's end off the top. Well, we need a land too, though. We need a second red land then. You can go to Tapadelphia? Okay. Okay. Ooh. The plus is good. We should minus, though. <laughs> Haven't you ever heard of personal space? And hold up Triumph to take Warden instant speed. Or uh, maybe we should be doing it first so they don't convoke it. Maybe we just take the one that targets Lily, though. If they don't double target it. And then Lily can minus. You don't know me. Virtue this one. Lily minus here. Is that terrible? I don't think that's too bad. To Ten life only, though. <laughs> oh! So we're forced to remove. Wow! How are they going to attack into this, though? Go for it. I'll remove it next turn. I know they get the token, whatever. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Okay, they don't. Perfect. And then how do you... It, it, this is going from bad to worse. Whew. Do we put in pressure here? No. Two life plus Dracosaur's advantage should carry us through. Two in hand. Oh. I'm dead. I'm absolutely dead. Oh my god. Nice. Nice. That was cool. Keeping seven, playing slow. Trying to hold our single target removal and just relying on Brotherhood for now.
Yeah. Let's get that out there and, you know, maybe we double cast on two. Ooh. If they play an Adeline, we're going to get crippled, though. So just, you know, it's a chump blocker, right? You can play this, it's fine. That's going to open up our cut down, we'll pass over. I'll probably still kill Copper Coat, specifically if they play another. It's my worst fear, indeed. So we're just building to this. I cannot kill that, is the thing. All right, just mitigate the damage output because it is, you know, it's definitely there. This is going to block Adeline next turn. We could double blood token it. That's uh, definitely acceptable as well. Nice. So there goes the blood token idea. Well, we can always block with Shouldred. Doesn't matter at this point. We're going to block now. Next turn, it's unblockable with the Might. Maybe getting five damage. Oh man, we still need one more turn though, right? Oh, double Shouldred is actually not terrible. Should we preemptively clean the field? Because we don't have our fourth land confirmed. Yep. Because that really trims the damage that they're doing. And it gives us mana to blood token for a land. Okay. All right, so this isn't as scary now. Furthermore, I'll toss a Shelly, look for land. Hopeful it's out. Oh, okay. At least it's not kicked. Hit for four, five. E. Land off the top, land off the top, land off the top. And we take Adeline. Three, seven. Or we take Copper Coat. Probably Adeline, though. Oh, it should have taken Intrepid. That's beautiful. Goodbye, Adeline. The knight would have been a good steal, too. Human. This gets kicked, which is actually really good, but doesn't beat Shelly. I'm going to keep land in hand to cycle with the blood token. Down to 16. Is it a Brutal Cathar? That's their ideal top deck here. No. Mmm. Nice W. Surviving through our two different field wipes. Opponents going first. That's fine. Looking for a second red source. Maybe some draw. Boros Convoke always is good deck. So definitely looking for that second red source. Oh. Yeah. Most times. it's. I mean, it's a really powerful deck, so it just is what it is. That's the land we need. Oh my gosh. I'm going to continue curving out, though. Just, you know. We don't want to reveal ourselves too much. And we may need the minus here. Like, what if they have the knight? No, they don't have enough. Oh, yes, they do. This deck is wild. No way. Bro! See, like, how crazy that is? Watch this. Watch this. They get the draw, though, which actually kind of is good. Dunk, dunk, dunk Adelphia. Let's attack for one. 
and then clean up. <clears throat> so the fact that they still got to draw two cards doesn't make that as good as we would have liked it to have been, but it's a nice way to just slow things down a bit, right? That's cute. All right, just remove it. Grab some life. It's fine. We do have two more field wipes. What are we taking? The knight. Right. We're at 21 life as well, which isn't terrible. Ooh, down to 18. Unearth sends itself to exile. Yup. Yup, that's all of our cards, though. Which we're lucky to have. It's not terrible. Kind of gets rid of our virtue, but I think worthwhile. Goodbye, Knight of Eos. Oh, from your hand. Get wrecked. And I'll take the rest as well. They do draw for that, which is fine. But... Ah. Ah. <laughs> so the Recruiter is another good card. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Great game, though, and a very good deck nonetheless. We just happen to build to directly counter it. Going first? Okay. If you say so. So persistent. Are you there? Take your time. I am in a better mood than I was the other day. I seen the comments. I don't mean to be a grump. I love this game. Sometimes I, you know, got low blood sugar, it's frustrated. My bad. Oops. Sorry. You know, it happens from time to time. Yeah. And as well, the uh, leaning on the desk. I know I've got like the restless leg thing. I'm always doing a slipknot drum solo with my legs, you know. It's like nonstop my whole life. Um, but then that combined with leaning on the desk, and I guess the, the camera's got quite a wobble. So we chilling, still doing the drum solo. Can't stop. It's involuntary. Um, but uh, try to mitigate the wobble, right? Just take it. And then Lily can take the next play. Uh Oh, what happened? You're curious, so you didn't see? The other, it was release day, and I was upset no one was playing with new cards. I was upset that everyone was playing really slow, which was probably just, I mean, because of the new cards. And, uh, well, it was noticed by the community. I, it was even called an incel. I was one of the, the more to-the-point comments. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I was being a little baby, you know, I was crying about uh, everything and, uh, you know, that's not my intention day to day. I apologize. <laughs> Totes my bad. So we're going to take this uh, Kami out of the graveyard so they don't get it back. Probably throw our land away. And then an additional blocker, bro. And then recently people didn't like the AI on the thumbnail, so we'll probably nip that in the bud as well. I appreciate the feedback. Oh, they can discard. That's good. Um, that's the only way for me to improve. And, uh, you know, thank you. Thank you all for sharing your opinion, even though it may not have been popular with everyone. Because, you know, there's always going to be that subsect of people that are like, don't you dare make fun of HGG, right? Um, 
I think they oopsed up. Should we take advantage of that, I guess? Yeah. So it takes a certain amount of, you know, courage or bravery to be like, you know what? This is messed up, bro. You gotta, this, come on. So I really appreciate it. Yeah? They don't like the AI thumbnails. I get it. It's just, I'm so ugly in real life. I'm like an ugly duckling. The AI thumbnails are like Ken dolls, you know? <laughs> I just want to be a Ken doll too. <laughs> Let's smash in. It could be a virtue, which would make me sad. All right. Damage Adelphia. This should seal the deal. There's no way they're running a field wipe. Down to five. Did someone order a sunfall? <laughs> so I don't think they discarded earlier because it was Calyx and they're like, well, Calyx is so important, I have to keep it. Which gave us a little bit of wiggle room. I don't know if it's enough though is the thing. Looking for removal. And I want to pass it tonight, so I'm not playing. Go ahead. And that way they can't just smash in. Don't you. We can still double block. Acceptable. Really? That is aggressive, no? Um, the life gain that they have is not great. So at least this can double block again. Well, mitigating the life that they receive through this chip damage. Okay, that's great. That's very good. Nice top deck. Calyx Adelphia. Now, I don't think it pushes up here. Oh, it does. When it self-enters. So now I can't block. Oh, no. No. But now you're not defending, but you do up to six. Dang, that's good. Can I get a Bone Horde, please? Oh! One of my favorite cards. Oh, the new set. I really like this card. Loving it. And look at that. It's already solved. Yes! It's so good here. Considering how far we are behind because of how crazy this deck is. Just don't top deck more ossifications. Or Machikos! Oh, I'm going to be sick. This is like 3,000 life gained. <laughs> really? That many? I counted. I'm just kidding. It's quite a bit. It's substantial. It may as well be. Not quite, but... Oh my god. You're attacking? No. Surely you've lost your mind. What are you doing, bro? Okay. Settle down. What?! Oh, double draw. Thank you kindly. Oh, that's good too. I'm going to take another double draw. By killing my own creatures. What is he doing? Can't tell me what to do. I like to double draw. I guess we could have blood tokened that away. What's the difference? It's all about this card and not having any cards in your own hand. Oh, it's so good. Literally going to win us the match. Look at this. Another two? Oh, well, I thank you. I will blood this away, though, I think. At On their turn. Right now, it's still removal in this transform, so maybe we just take that, actually. 
Case of the Crimson Pulse. Yeah. Oh, double draw? It's a quad draw. Just drew two. Just drew two more. And then my regular draw. Five cards this turn, hey? Hmm. Seems fine. Enough with the mysteries. I've come for answers. <laughs> Oakley Doakley. Devious cover up. Not too shabby. Very good card. Case of the Crimson Pulse. Maybe the best card in set. <laughs> that might be a stretch, but uh, I do think both of them are definitely playable. Uh, they're only rares, which is nice as well. Not too hard to collect. And probably cards that we would only run two or three copies of, anyways. So. Definitely solid additions to the deck. Um, you know, there's so many aggro decks around that uh, I do like the cover up over Geeks's command, right? Um, because command wouldn't always hit everything. Sometimes they had multiple creatures that were strong. Uh, it was pretty good, don't get me wrong. But I do think that the deadly cover up is better because A, we can just destroy everything, bring it back with our virtue. But B, we can actually start shutting down their deck uh, by taking care of all of that threat. Like, you know, whatever it happens to be that we take, they're not casting that anymore. And how many serious threats does a deck have, even our own? You know, let's say they take the Bone Horde Dracosaur on the first one, and then they take Shielded on the second one. What am I left with? How am I winning that match? I'm going to use Blood Tithe Harvester and the Epicure to win the game with the Trespasser? possible unlikely though considering my opponent probably still has their powerful cards in play right so um i love it i absolutely love the new additions to the deck i hope you enjoy if you have any suggestions um other cards from the new set specifically that could work in this build that's my obsession right now don't hold out on me homies hit me up in the comments below join that community discord if you'd like to share your own deck have suggestions for this deck or you're looking for help uh potentially if you don't have some of the cards we're always uh you know happy to help out of course most importantly though you have yourself a magical day and thank you so much for taking the time to support the channel i truly appreciate it it means the world and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you all soon in the next video as well.